Hey guys, what is up? This is Ant Dude, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2. Today, we're wrapping up World 2, this lovely little sunset looking area with the seagulls, which again, it's not can't really be a sunset. I don't know how those seagulls are there, but that's fine. We're gonna have a wonderful time. We got two little side galaxies to get rid of. To get rid of, that sounds rude. To take care of sounds a bit better. We're gonna start off here with Wild Glide. We're going back to motion control gimmicks. Everybody's about to get real mad. Now we get to experience Fluzzard's first flight. Had to say that slowly because I felt like I would have slurred those words around if I said Fluzzard's first flight. I kind of got it, but it's too much. I don't know. But hey, we got birds. Look at these guys. I think they're called. I think they're called Jabber Jays. They're odd looking. I mean, I guess they're supposed to be like babies, and maybe like the bottom part is either like it's the diaper, or you know, it could be like the bottom of an egg or something. That's how I'm thinking it looks. But they got it. They got a cool little mohawk too. And this is what kind of sucks. I, I think if I say no, I still gotta go for it, right? Yeah, that's lame. It's the same as the manta ray thing. What do you got to say? Lighting until the goal is tough, and then he he says nothing. But th this is lame again, just like the manta ray stuff from Galaxy One, where if I were playing the game after my first attempt, which believe it or not, this is not my first time playing this. It's a shame I got to go through the tutorial again. That's really lame. But uh, I mean, thankfully it's a lot shorter. That's gonna be a problem, because for some reason he's diving down and I'm pointing straight. So that could be a problem? Maybe I'm not synced down? Uh... I feel like the, the Wii Remote may not be synced properly, because he should not be doing that right now. So, this could be fun! This is gonna be a blast. I could stop and sync the controller now, but we'll see how long it takes until I crash. Did not see that coming. Uh... uh no, it seems fine. It's, it was definitely a lot more violent of a descent, it looked like. But hey, yeah, okay. More motion control stuff. People were very upset uh, at the Manta Ray stuff. People for, just don't like motion controls. And uh, I liked it. Which is funny that I, I guess maybe the people who were complaining were definitely not a majority. Because it seems kind of weird that Nintendo would be like, Oh, you didn't like this thing? Uh, we made another one. Oh boy, I don't know why I tried going for that. So they went for more motion controls... And it's more complicated than the last time. So, you know, there's, there's that. Oh, fuck, can I make that? Descending was a problem. Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a mistake. I don't know what I was trying. I don't remember where the, the, the comet coin is. I will say, though, I do love these things. Like, I, I, motion controls, I never, I never really hated because a lot of games did motion controls right. And I th always thought this was one of them. There's certainly... A whole lineage of Wii games that did it terribly. Oh, I gotta hit all the gates to get that open, don't I? That's how it is. Bam. Trying again. I knew I messed up. There we go. I fixed up my goof. And I got it. Okay, good. Whew. I was worried. Luckily, there seems to be enough good depth perception for me to get that coin without freaking out about it. But I got the common coin. I got the race in a minute six flat. That was kind of cool. Fludge, it looks happy. It looks exactly the same. But, uh, alright, you birds can probably get that sense better than I can. Also, am I crazy? But I remember this came out in 2010. I always figured, like, oh, what a coincidence. This kind of looks like a more cartoony, uh, Skyloft bird. Oh, boy, the Skyward Sword birds. I don't remember their names. That's gonna get me a lot of hate. Oops. It was a loft wing. I literally just remembered. Ah, did not look that up. I know I made a nice video cut, but no, you can see I just landed with a star. I didn't have time to, to Google it. I Loftwing. Got it. Sweet. Now, there is another mission that takes place in Wild Glide, but we can't do it right now. It's another one of those things where you sort of just gotta wait for a letter to show up uh, from the Jabberjay, and then you'll get to do a, another mission there. And while I am excited for that... Instead, what we're going to do now is call this Hungry Luma over. We got one more galaxy to check out. And we just got to feed this this big boy a bunch of star bits. A whole whopping 700. See, that's a lot. And you can see it's actually 
the fact that it's more than half of what we have, it shows you how helpful that, like, maybe, I don't even know if I mentioned it, there's a toad here that keeps all star bits from multiple save files. It definitely, definitely very helpful. So now I can just grind them out over the years, and now I'm kind of set. And we got a new, uh, we got a new area. Where's the toad? It's you. This toad is a real trooper. I feel like I may have mentioned that. I don't even remember. That's fine. Hey. Oh, no, no. This is a whole slew of problems. Honey Bloom Galaxy. Let's go. B Mario Returns. Yahoo. Just looking at the name of this mission, I just... Ooh. It hurts. Bumble Beginnings. Fresh start with, with Bumble Beginnings. Because, you know, it's like humble. Oh, it's ter It's bad. It's really, really bad. I can appreciate... I can appreciate it. I love good wordplay and puns and all that. But every time, it, it hurts. But yeah, now we have... This is basically the same as Honey Hive Galaxy from the first game. Except they condensed it into two dimensions. Uh... It's an interesting approach. Oh, okay. That's just... If I did fall, I, I would stay alive. Exploring for no real reason. Come on. There we go. It even has a bit of a... It's not the same song. It's not a port, but a bit of a remix of Honey Hive Galaxy's theme. So it's a nice little touch. Uh, it feels like Honey Mario... Honey Mario? That's not Honey Mario. B Mario is a bit forced. Um, because I think this is the only like star this is for. I could be wrong. There are two power-ups... From Galaxy 1 that return that have only one star each. And it feels very forced in that way. Um, but it's, it's still enjoyable. Especially when you got those guys. I, I don't even... I couldn't tell you at all what those things are based on. Like, that's one of the crazy things that Miyamoto or someone at Nintendo EAD has in their fever dreams. And this... You know what? Yeah, let's put it in the game. That's fine. Weird, dopey-looking propeller bugs. Bless them. Oh, hey, look, there's a star. But that's not the star we're getting. It's uh, one of the, like, easiest to find hidden stars in the entire series. So we'll get that very soon. I want to get these. Don't even know what I get, but I want them. Oh, I got, I was real close, and now I'm going to die. So that's good. That's nice. Oh, nice. Bumping into the the berries gives me some extra flying juice. I like that. I don't remember where the coin is. This could be a problem. Is it down here somewhere? No, it's not. There's nothing down here. We'll find it eventually. Somewhere here in, somewhere here in this, this big old grapevine. Oh, no, no. Come on. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. This is, oh, this is turning into, like, Sonic Casino Zone. Oh, no. Oh. Huh. Awesome. Okay. Didn't know that was a thing. Ah, uh, so nice. Let me just make it up there peaceful. Oh my goodness. I, this is, okay. Huh. So this is uh, one of the hardest levels in the game. Uh, the fact I'm still alive is a miracle. Uh, can I make it up here in one piece? Do a little bouncy action. There we go. I want these. Okay. Ha, boy. This has been... A much more treacherous, uh, visit than I anticipated. Where's this dang comet coin? Don't suck me in. Not happening. Man, I don't, They don't give you enough flight juice. Look at these guys. I love them. I love the modern fuzzy design with their eyes just bugging out. It's... It's such a minor thing, but it, it, it just, it looks good, and that, that did not look good. Come on. Uh, I think in my history of uh, playing this game, I've probably lost the B suit in this level uh, twice. And you saw them both in this episode. So rejoice. You got to see some cool stuff. Let me... Okay. Is it just these? It's just these. Not, see, the thing is, now it's my paranoia uh, showing its ugly head, not knowing where this comet coin is. Oh, boy. I do like these, though. I'm not getting, like, any of them. 
There we go. There we go. Started getting them all near the end. Oh, man. This level's longer than I thought. I see. Nope. Nope. I don't trust you. I'm almost surprised they didn't give these plants some sort of piranha plant face. So fascinated with, like, them just taking items or objects and putting faces on them in these platformers. And that's just a regular old plant that, like, wants to hit, like, kill you. Same with that little flower that I stepped on. Oh, boy. No. Those, you know what? Those could actually be, uh, these could be piranha plants, actually. The way it's designed with the mouth that, that sucks you in after you, uh, a little while. Look at that. It looks like a piranha plant. So yeah, these things are just like random spiky ball plants. We're nearing the end, and I don't think I got the comet coin. Did I? Am I going crazy? I'm not liking this. Wait. Wait. Nothing here. Maybe I did get it, and I'm just, again, my paranoia. Wouldn't that be funny? Not at all. Let's get this star. And we'll see what happens. Star one of two, get. Oh, I did get it. <laughs> yeah, clearly I am blind. Oops. So for that second secret star, we're gonna take a trip back to Bumble Beginnings. That name still haunts me. All right, so this one is very, very super simple. Uh, the paranoia should not need to strike me this time around. We just take a jump up here. Oh, that's not it. Ah, it's close, though. I'm waiting. I'm getting close. It's over. Not that slide. Oh, come on. There we go. And then I come this way. And it's on this side. There, there we go. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is going good. This is, this is how you play, like, one of the pros is you just, there we go. He just won't make it. It's just not, it's, it's just not Mario's day. There we go, I got a little spin, because Mario, I can't trust him to make these jumps on his own! There we go, there's a star. That's it. Couldn't even pretend to show that as smooth as I wanted to, so that's awesome, star get. Alright, and with those galaxies out of the way, it's time to break open this star block. We're gonna tackle Bowser and his evil lava layer. I'm excited. It's about time we take this big boy out. And when I mean big, oh boy, he got big. I love how over the top Bowser just feels like he needs... Bowser's big lava power party! That's like, you know, you get a pamphlet and be like, you are cordially invited to Bowser's big lava power party. Be sure to bring your own drinks. You can all be allowed one guest. And uh, also we got cool music playing in the back because, you know... Bowser only has the best, uh, set lists. So, yeah, I mean, it's another Bowser level, but, like, after playing the Bowser Jr. level, it's seriously, just the Bowser 64, the, the Road to Koopa, or Koopa's Road song, really adds, like, an extra touch, a flamey touch to these levels. It just, it feels awesome, and Galaxy 1 did this as well, but now that Galaxy 2 went for more orchestrated music, they remixed the song again, and it sounds... Oh, it sounds lovely. Alright, hey, Cap'n and the crew. How y'all doing? We found a coin. I, You know what? They're trying, and I appreciate it. He's pulling for me, he wants to go home, and he is scared. The Blue Toad... Blue Toad's chill. The Captain, he's being the Captain, being a good leader. The Blue Toad is chill. The other two... The other two are regretting are regretting signing up for that club. Ah, oh, dang it. That was pretty cool. Shot it right out of the air. No! Stupid hammer brother. Been a thorn in my side since... What was it, 83? I think that was Mario 1. Oh boy. I'm showing, like, my inept... Like, it's it's just... This, is, this, is, this has been going very poorly. I don't think anything happens for getting these, except for... Yeah, the one up and the nice applause really makes you feel nicer. Oh boy, Mario survived that great fall just fine. So that's good. This is gonna be tragic. Oh no! Okay, okay. This is gonna be tragic. Okay. Whew. Hey, the thwomps are back. That's cool. Every time I see the thwomps, I've I have like 
a desire to jump through them as they fall down. If you've played Mario 64, that's like, that's how you take down thwomps. If you like, so that's how I learned to do it. Sometimes I take speedrun strategies into real life. I'm not going to into real life into casual play. That didn't even make sense what I said, but as everyone knows the thwomps you take, Oh boy. Let me just wall jump you off real, real quick is when they fall like that, you hit their back in the middle and boom. But since Mario 64 was uh, kind of shoddily programmed in retrospect, as they, f as they topple over, if you jump at the right time and at the right height, you can just clip through them. And it, uh, it's, it's, a cool, it's a cool thing. And I just have an instinct to do that here. But I forget, Galaxy is a lot better, better designed than 64. So, there's that. Didn't even really have a point that that, I, that lasted a minute describing something that could last five seconds. Hey, right, Green Toad helping me out nicely. Let's get back on track. Gonna avoid all you guys. Not worth the trouble! Maybe you are. And maybe, again, my paranoia is, uh, is setting in. And now we got these stinking platforms again. I have, like, for some reason, it's just a childhood memory because it's not even, like, nowadays it causes me trouble, but I have such bad memories of dealing with these platforms in Mario World that whenever I see them now, I just, like, it affects me, and I just, I start, again, the paranoia. Clearly, I gotta relax, because <laughs> this has been a very paranoid episode, which is not, not, not necessarily healthy. These guys are cool, though. I like the laser Bowsers. That's a good throwback to Mario 3. I like that. You guys will, you guys can stay. You can throw hammies at each other for the rest of your lives. That was actually a really good aim. So, wait. Flagpoles. There we go. It's, it's, Bowser has an obsession with flagpoles. He just needs to, because it's not just like a flag on a stick that's being planted into the ground. It's like this really big 10-foot flagpole. Again, he has a very, he's like a big ego with his big lava power party and his big, his big flagpoles. His one meteorite just chilling out while I'm doing this. And look at this, glorious doors opening and now we get sucked into the battlefield. It's a really cool effect. I like that. Makes his, uh, makes his arena seem more... I don't want to say dangerous, but he, he comes off more threatening. That's for sure. Look how big he is. He was the size of his head last time. Or like the size of his nose. Bowser was the size of his nose last time. The powers to flatten you. Yeah. Pre they never say how we got it. I mean, if you want to go into like deep Mario lore, you could say that Magikoopa or Kamek did it. Because that's how they did it in Yoshi's Island. Yoshi, uh, Yoshi would always fight just enemies that were larger in size. So you could, you want to add to the Mario lore, you can place this in the Mario timeline effectively. Um, so that's nice. That's my, that's my Mario timeline theory. I messed that up. That's not very good. All right. So giant Bowser battle. What he does now, he shoots three little asteroids, three meteors right into the planet. He's going to pound his fist, which for some reason emits a powerful light. Then this happens and then ba boom, right into the face. And again, it's so minor. And usually in game design, if you don't really notice it, that's how it's well designed. Like, if you never really notice the game's camera, that's good. Because it, it, you're not going to really continuously praise a camera. It's either you think a camera sucks, or it just ends up being good. You don't notice it. Good level design is the whole meteorite thing. We did it on the door twice already, and then it becomes the mechanic in the boss. Which is, you know, it's just... It's me just thinking, like, this is how Nintendo makes games, and it's it's a really effective uh, way of doing things. Nope. So that's just me fanboying out a bit on the technical side of things. Once again, ignore me. It's fine. Bowser only has, I think, one more hit to go for four hits, which is a very odd number. You know, it's only normally a three, six, oh, three or six. But man, he can fly, he's super huge, he's a superhero now, and he's using his powers for evil, which is, it's a shame, really. Such good potential. And now he's done. Coughed up that Grand Star. And, oh, oh, wait, oh, there he goes. It's okay, he grows in size later on. Oh, he landed right on his head. 
That seemed very unsafe, but his shell didn't crack, so that's impressive. Rarg. Now I, now I remember. I, I mean, all the times he keeps falling on his head, and it's easy to forget. There you go. Couple spins. Disappears. And now we've got a nice, glorious Grand Star to get our hands on. It's majestic. And, and look, look at the placement of the camera. It's like right in front of the throne. It's good, like, it's good symbolism because the, like, Bowser was there and he's the big bad guy. Now the Grand Star is where Bowser was and showing it Bowser's gone. It's good symbolism. It's good level design. This is a pretty good game. I'd give it a solid 2 out of 10. We got a Grand Star. Woohoo! This has been a wild episode. This has been straight paranoia and nonsense. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh... Things are about to get, we're going to end off kind of emotional, just on a musical level. Uh, it's really good stuff. World, World 3 is good times. That took seven minutes? Oh boy. That was a, that was a long run. Alright, Lubba. We got places to be. Fought that giant Bowser icon monster and he turned tail and ran off. He did. Alright, no problem. Let's go. Yeah, our special one, once again. They, I don't, they just can't say Peach. It has to be special one. They don't want to say girlfriend? I, I guess it's not. It's just a special one. That's fine. There it goes. Mario's head away. And I just, I want to just hear the World 3 music again, because it's fantastic. Oh. It's so good. It was just a little piano. So, so ambient. We got a lot of great worlds or galaxies in this world. I still can't get over that, but that's fine. So today, we're going to wrap up this episode all calm and collected. Hopefully you all enjoy this episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Next time, we give World 3 a shot. And I'm excited. Hope you are too. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I will catch you dudes next time. Bye bye